Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Trailhead Explanations. In this video, we are going to cover unit get started with Apex unit test from the module Apex testing. This is the first unit of this module. So here we are going to create an Apex class, uh, not actually be creating. We are just going to copy it from the GitHub using this link. So clicking on this link, it will redirect us to the uh, GitHub code. Now, meanwhile, it is loading. Uh, let's see what we have to do further. We have to create a test class for this uh, copied uh, code of copied uh, Apex class that we are going to paste it in our developer console. We are going to create a test class and our end goal is 100% code coverage. Uh, before checking our ch challenge, we have to make sure that we run our test class at least once uh, so that it can cover up all the test cases. Now uh, let's go to this uh, GitHub code and copy the code from here for our Apex class. So I will simply use this uh, icon on the top right, which is copy raw content. I'll click this. So this is going to automatically copy all the uh, code that is there. Now go to your developer console, file new Apex class. And the name we are going to give it uh, same as we have in our challenge, which is a verified date. Click OK. Now I will remove all this uh, default code and paste the code which we have copied from the GitHub. Now I will just go uh, through this code uh, and let's see what actually is happening in this uh, logic or in this class. So here we have a method check dates, which has a return type of date. And we are passing two date type of parameters into this method, date one and date two. So here we are going to check if date two is within the next 30 days range of date one. And if that, if that is so, if this is condition, uh, if this condition is satisfied that date two is within the range of 30 days from date one, then we are going to use date two or we are going to return it. Otherwise, if this is not the case or this is not the condition, we are simply going to return the end of the month of date one, end date of the month of date one. Uh, so date one, whichever month it belongs to. Uh, so we are going to return the end date of that particular month from which date one belongs. So we have covered that in else case. In if case we are covering if it is within the next 30 days uh, logic. So let's quickly go to this method, which is date within 30 days. Here again, we are passing a uh, date type of parameters and the return type is Boolean, right? So if uh, the value is true, we are going to consider if case. If uh, the return type from this method, the logic we are performing, here return type is true or the value of uh, return, the value returned is true, we are going to take up if condition. If it is false, we are going to take up else condition. Now let's check uh, one by one the conditions mentioned in this method, which is date within 30 days. Here we are first checking if date two is from the past, uh, from date one. So if date two is less than date one, that means obviously it is past uh, date from date one. So we are going to return false. And when false is returned, we know that it will go into else case. And else case, what is happening? Otherwise, use the end date of the month, the date uh, from the month of date one. So it is going to follow up this method, which we will be covering later on. Now, next, it is going to check. Now, here, what is happening? We are uh, checking the date. Uh, check that if date two is within the next 30 days of date one. So here, we are simply adding. 30 days to date one, and we are storing it into the variable date 30 days. Now, even after adding day, uh, 30 days to date one, if day two still greater, that means we are uh, the day two is not within the range of 30 days. We are simply going to return false. Returning false means it will go into else condition and uh, follow the logic inside this method. Now, if that is also not the case, then it will go into else and it will return true. And when it true is returned, that means a date within 30 days, this condition has been, uh, this condition is true and it will simply return date two. So this was the uh, first method that has been covered here. 
Now for else case, here we have another method which is set end date, uh, set end of month date. Here we are passing parameter date one. Why? Because here we are setting the end date of the month from which date one belongs. So we require only date one here. So here what we are doing is we are simply using date in month, days in months, a function of date uh, class. And we are just returning the total number of days. And we are passing this total number of days to another, uh, to this new instance of date class. And the return value is again of type date. And the last day, the total number of days that, uh, that are there for this particular month and particular year, that means the total days, if suppose there are 29 days, that means uh, the last day is 29. If the return value over from this uh, is 30, that means the last date is 30. If it is 31, so that way, that way we get the last day of last date of the uh, date one month. So we are going to simply return it. Return type is date. And again, we will return into this method and the logic is completed. So this was the Apex class. I'll save this. Now we have to create a test class for this Apex class. So we are going to create it by the name, which has been provided in our uh, challenge, I will copy this and go back to my developer console, paste it over here, click OK. This will create an Apex uh, test class, uh, Apex class. So we have to tell the runtime that this is test class. So I will simply write the annotation is test. Now here we are going to create a method uh, by the name. Uh, first we'll give the annotation is test and static void and the name we are going to give is uh, from here, check dates and going back to this, I will add test case one. So we are going to cover up two cases here. If date is within uh, 30 days, uh, if date two is within 30 day range of date one and in uh, another uh, case, in another method we are going to cover the else condition, that is if date two is not within the 30 days range of date one. So here I'm going to change the method name by two. Now simply what I will do here is I will create a variable of type date and I will say return result. And I'm going to call this class, which is verify date dot call the method which is a check dates here. Now here we have to pass two date parameters. For this, I'm going to use a date class method, which is a function date dot value of. And here I'm going to pass date in string type. So date that we are going to pass here is uh, 20 in string that I'm going to pass, 2022 and zero three is the month that I'm giving and 13, uh, let's say 13 is the date, right? Then for date two, I'm again going to use this date class, the dot value of string. I'm going to provide another date, which is date two. So here we are checking if uh, check for if date two, Date two is within the range of 30 days from date one, right? So we have to provide a date uh, within the range of 30 days, uh, which is I'm going to take suppose uh, 2022, zero, three, same month, and let's say 20 is the date. So this is under within 30 days range. So here I'm going to use system dot assert equals. Now, if this is uh, within the 30 days range, that means it should return date two, right? If it is within 30 days range, it will return date two. So our expected value is date two, which I'm going to copy it from here. And the actual value will be whatever returned from this class, 
terminate it. So this is the first uh, method. Now for the next one, I'm going to copy this again, these two things. Here we are going to test if uh, our date two is not within the range of date one. So simply date two is not within the range of date one, right? Now here, uh, again, this method will be called and I'm going to pass these date one same as it is. And for date two, I'm going to exceed the 30 days limit. So here I will pass one and 14. Now the expected type over here is, uh, so now if this is an uh, exceeding the range of date one, so here the assert has to be uh, based on the condition that we have, if it is not within the range of date one, then the month from which date one belongs to the end date of that particular month will be returned. So here in this, we, we will have the end date of that particular month from which date one belongs. So our date one belongs to a uh, third month of 2022. So I will be using this uh, here, but the end date March, since March has 31 days. So I will write 31 over here and save this. So this is the simple uh, test class we have. You can uh, have a look on this. And if there is any confusion with this uh, class or test class, you can watch this video again because I, I can understand this date thing is a little bit confusing. So now we are going to check our test and I will just use this run all. And going to our tests, it should pass all the cases and we are going to check what is the um, code coverage we have. If I just go to here, see if we have 100% code coverage. We can check it from here as well. So we can see that it is there. Now go back to our challenge. I will click on this check challenge button. Hopefully it should pass all the test cases and this unit should be completed. Let's just wait for it to give out the final output. There you go, this unit has been completed. In the next video, we are going to cover the next unit from this module. Till then, take care, see you in the next video, bye.